Drunken Pete reporting for the second time this week. But So today I went to the RV show with my friend Kevin, who you've seen in other videos. And um, we we went to, it was up Place Bonaventure, uh, Palais de Congrès. It's not at the Olympic Stadium, so it's not that crazy building like you saw last year, spinning everywhere again. So it was a little bit tighter and there was a lot of people because it's Saturday. And so I, I didn't get a lot of shots of a lot of things. Plus, it was it was the setup was difficult, to say the least. So um, I got a couple of shots. This trailer we're about to show you was the best, one of the biggest ones. There was a lot of trailers. There was a couple of ones you drive, and um, but I wanted to film like uh, they blocked off a lot of those ones. Like you can't go in the bathroom, you can't go in the master bedroom. There's a washing machine and dry, a dryer and washing machine in one. Like imagine that. And so they're really cool. And every time I go to one of these things, I'm like, we got to plan a trip and like find one that's small that we can rent and like chart out a route. I think that's a plan this year too, as I work part time now. God damn it. Anyways, so this one was the coolest one. It was really neat. And it looked like this. Okay, this one is crazy. You come in, there's a staircase to go into the bedroom. But I should get up here. Look at this fucking place. Okay, camera you can't tell how big it is, but it's crazy. And then I'm on the staircase here. And then there's like the bathroom. Here comes a beautiful bathroom. Beautiful ornate bathroom with a skylight. I'll close it. <laughs> Look at the size of this bed and base kit. Look at that. I could sleep in here. Holy cow! Huge. Like this seems crazy. Closet. That's nuts. Okay, would you make the fucking bed already? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's a chair here. So you can watch the goings on. Over here. Isn't this sick? It's really nice. Wow. It's a trail. You don't drive it, it's but not still. Real wood, though. Oh, God. Kevin works with wood, and he's not impressed with the non wood. Let's go check out the kitchen real quick. There's a beautiful dining area. Oh, stove. I mean, uh, Fireplace, giant TV, fridge bigger than mine at home. I don't know how to open it. Nobody cares. Stove with oven, double sinks, beautiful. So much room. This thing's really neat. It's an Airstream, but it's like I've never seen one this small before. It's really cute. Oh, that's so cool. Here's the shower. I know it's tight. It's all aluminum. That's so fucking cool. So there you have it. That and the little Airstream. Uh, very cool. Um, I can't imagine though. Like you have to when you go walking through these things, especially the ones you drive. You picture like sitting there while you know my friend Kev's driving and I'm chilling. Our friends are hanging out. I'm on the computer. There's probably free Wi-Fi in the thing. But the destination that you're going to, it's not like you're going to like uh, a resort. This is your resort. So you park that at like a lake or like a place where there's RV parking and stuff. And the outside of them always have awnings and like barbecues on the outside and televisions on the outside. So you're outside most of the time, you know, going canoeing or whatever. But it's, it's just cool to think like this thing is going to be parked in nature and it's going to be all around when you... You know, after you take your shower and have your espresso, you can go outside and go fishing or kayaking or doing whatever, wherever you're parked. And then you go on to the next destination, which is the same thing. So let's say it's for outdoor people, like for sure. And a lot of older people are there. And I'm like, are they going to retire in this thing and like just travel around? Like, oh, it's winter's coming. Let's go to Florida and park at some place for a month there and stuff. And it's really cool. And it's, it's cool to picture that. And... Uh, the big old last year, I don't know if I showed you, they got they had a huge like screen on the outside of the RV and it had like a lake scene with birds and everything. And you're like, fuck, that's true. This this is what it would be like. You know, you just think of inside the RV, but it's a whole world outside. Okay, shut the fuck up. All right, I go out. This video goes out. There's another video coming, but I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm posting it. Sorry for that edit. My friend just called me drunk as fuck and like, I don't want to talk to you. The end. Bye!
Very cool. I have to say, too. It was very fun. Then I went to this restaurant, which was the, the slowest, worst restaurant. I literally left a 10% tip. Is that too much? Bye.